Soccer playoffs roll on. 80 minutes not enough to pick a D2 district finalist between Napoleon and Oak Harbor. Extra time. Rockets have had enough. Holly Robinson and Lily Detre play forward to Effie Schulte on a breakaway ball game. One is all it takes to knock out Napoleon Schulte's golden goal moves the Rockets into Saturday's game against the winner of this semifinal. Maumee and Port Clinton scoreless until early in the second half. Kate Smalley, big effort from way outside the box. Panthers pounce from the outskirts of Millbury to go up 1-0. 10 minutes later, Evelyn Boyette floats another over the keeper. That's a clutch insurance goal, enough to hold off PC 3-1. Panthers and Rockets meet this weekend. We, we definitely know how they play. I think coming from this game, we have a mentality that we are going to go out strong because we went out strong the first time playing them. And I think it's just going to be a good game overall. We're well matched, too. But before worrying about that one, Brandon Lowe and Bernie Hunterbrinker help us break down the ones we saw tonight. Out here at Lake High School tonight, district semifinal soccer on the girls' side of the state tournament bracket. Oak Harbor took on Napoleon to start, and then Port Clinton took on Maumee in the second game. But Bernie, really all night long, we were treated to some phenomenal soccer for Oak Harbor as the number one seed. It took them a while to get there, but eventually they got the win over Napoleon in overtime. But don't short the Lady Cats. They played a phenomenal game. You know, if, if you look for a lot of scoring, we didn't see that. But we saw some good scoring tonight. We saw uh, Oak Harbor uh, hang in there and get that number one seed captured that win and so it's gonna be a tough matchup they got coming up next yeah mommy took on port clinton in the second game and both teams coming in fairly even mommy was the five seed port clinton was the four seed but the panthers they showed up to play tonight especially in the second half brandon the second half uh mommy made some nice combination passes they took some shots that were reasonable they had scoring opportunities and they went in Evelyn Boyette got the second goal, which proved to be the game winner for Maumee. A 3-1 final in that one. And now for the Maumee Panthers, they'll take on the Rockets of Oak Harbor. A finals rematch from earlier this season. It was a 2-2 draw the first time they played. And I'm excited to say that both teams are probably ready to face each other once again to try to break that draw. Yeah, I know Jeremiah and McNutt, is, uh, we're happy we were here because he's sometimes not happy, but uh, he liked that we were here tonight, and he'll be even happier when we're there on, sa on Saturday. That'll do it for us here tonight. Oak Harbor taking on Maumee in the district finals is what's coming up next in this portion of the bracket.